One of the first questions we get asked is, you know, $29 for a little rabbit ear, that I can afford, but I don't know about an antenna. That sounds like a huge investment. And indeed, it is an investment. It's an investment uh, for the future of your viewing in your house. But when we do that, we can more or less guarantee what the signal strength is going to be, whether it be a TV that's in the basement or one that's on the second floor. Now, when we talk about costs, rabbit ears anywhere from $20 to, if you get the amplified type, you can go over 100 well, an external antenna, whether it be in the attic or on your roof, we're probably looking somewhere between $400 to $500 total for installation, the material, the technician, labor, all that stuff together. And so we have to look at that as an investment, and that is a lot of money. But when you break that down over the period of time that you're going to be in your house and then divide it by the number of televisions you'd have hooked to it, we think that's a good investment. Some people will say, well, gee, if I spend that or make that investment, how long will that last? Well, that's a great question. If the antenna can be located in the attic, and we have to take that on a case-by-case -case basis, that antenna could last the lifetime of the house. If we have to put it outside, now we're subject to the elements of nature. We have ice, we have wind, we have blowing branches here in the summertime when the thunderstorms come in, and we have birds that like to sit up there, too. So that will cut down on the age and lifespan of an antenna. Will my current antenna that I've had up there for 20 years work on my new DTV signals? And the answer to that is a definite maybe. The maybe consists of this. Right now, our DTV signals are being broadcast in the UHF frequency band. Now those are the channels from 14 up through channel 69. That's a different type of antenna than we use for channels 2 through 13, which is the VHF, very high frequencies. So we need to have an antenna that does both. Now, some of these DTV transmissions are going to revert back to VHF. So it isn't like we can abandon our VHF antennas. We really need to have both. So if your antenna right now is receiving channels 2 through 13 adequately, and it's also receiving your UHF channels adequately, there's a good likelihood that it'll be okay for DTV. And that's good news for a lot of people. One of the questions that most people will have is, yeah, I'm going to make the investment. All right, which antenna? Well, that's a really good question because it isn't always the same antenna. Now, if we're talking about just being in one city, take Des Moines, for instance, we can basically use one antenna in most of our areas of Des Moines and be okay. But what if we go to... Ames? What if we go to Corydon? What if we go to Humiston? How, what will we use then? So what we have to use to decide the criteria is how far are you from the transmitter? Are you geographically in a low-lying area because RF signals don't follow the curvature of the earth, they tend to go straight. So those are things we have to take into consideration. That's why if you're going to make the investment in an antenna, we really recommend that you find somebody locally that knows antenna technology so they can help you make that investment so that it works right when it's done.